of our commitment the ministry felt in trying to reach out to all our facilities and uh, check the facilities uh, look uh, look at the welfare of the staff that we do send there to service it and uh, you know it's it's challenging especially the island of Menga coming to Ndakwin Benga Health Center and now Rev Rev Nursing Station uh, we've identified Rev Rev Nursing Station is a you can say it's a new nursing station and uh, with Ndakwimbenga, we encountered some issues with regards to the infrastructure, uh, maintenance. I think it's been a while. Uh, and uh, again, you know, it's, uh, it's part of uh, what the ministry is trying to improve on its the infrastructure. Then uh, things that goes together with the infrastructure, the accessible to water, uh, solarization or power and uh, to be able to do that and to allow them to carry out their work uh, effectively uh, to the to the community that they serve. And uh, Ndakuimbenga, it's, it's challenging because, uh, as you can see when we went there, uh, the effects of uh, the climate change, I can say, has really affected uh, where the uh, health centre is situated and uh, we look forward to addressing this issue with the relevant authorities so that, uh, especially the Ministry of Waterway, so that they can take it, uh, take up, uh, to protect the health centre, they need to protect the foreshore in Ndakuimbenga and I uh, believe uh, we'll be doing that. But uh, nevertheless, uh, we are very uh, thankful and grateful to our staffs, uh, the doctors and the nurses and the nursing practitioner here in the uh, Ravi Nursing Station for their commitment and they work in a very, very challenging environment, a very, very challenging situation and uh, the commissioning of the new uh, MD Ravi Ravi will allow uh, the uh, nursing practitioner or whoever comes in next to serve in the Ravi Ravi Nursing Station to better utilize and also uh, reach out to the other uh, villages and settlement that uh, comes under the Rav Nursing Station in terms of carrying out their, their work. So again, we're thankful to the Vanua, to the two Tikinas, uh, Rav Ravi and the Tikina of uh, Sawau for their uh, reception uh, on both sides and uh, again, uh, when you're talking with the community, you can uh, sense uh, some sort of, uh, I can say, relief and happiness in them that they, now that government has uh, uh, provided uh, another arm of service in terms of uh, transportation. And uh, you know, from here onwards, it's about uh, doing better and uh, our people need that the most. So again, I'm very thankful to the Vanua, especially to, uh, to the uh, Central Division and the Sierra Nomo Subdivision for facilitating uh, this uh, visit. And I'm um, again, humble and thankful for, for, the, for the experience. Well, in terms of service delivery, they are, they are there are different challenges for different area, for different uh, the facilities in Dakwimbenga, uh, as I had mentioned, the uh, the issue of uh, uh, can say uh, climate change, in which it has really affected uh, the uh, stability or I can say the status of the infrastructure itself. Uh, in uh, Ravidai Health Nursing Station, it's a new nursing station. But uh, at the moment, they're having issues in terms of uh, power supply or uh, light from solarization and then water. So these are some of the basic things that I believe the ministry should look into and should uh, take care of first because uh, there are needs and basic needs. And uh, you have to look after our staff well and 
addressing that those issues will allow them uh, not only to uh, work in a workable environment but also live in a livable environment while at the same time uh, continuing their service to the community so Again, I am I'm very um, impressed with the work that they do here in the two facilities here in Benga and I urge them to continue the good work that they do with the support of the Vanua and also our village health worker who are always in support of their work. So again, thank you. This is Benga medical area which consists of um, the two islands, Benga and another island. Uh, these two health facilities situated here, that's Benga Health Centre and uh, nursing, Ravi Ravi Nursing Station. Eh? Uh, the minister's visit today is it's quite um, encouraging, very empowering. Um, it's filled with promises that uh, we know that, that we have been uh, considered uh, in terms of uh, service delivery. Eh? Um, there are quite a few challenges our minister had uh, come, uh, came and addressed. So, um, in that regard, there's, um, there's two important challenges that I faced. Um, that is the facility and the, our transportation unit. Um, climate change is... Climate, climate change is really evident in uh, in most of our islands so uh, with uh, looking into our facility it really needed uh, renovation and repair and um, I'm quite pleased with that that it's been included in our uh, next quarter budget so that's quite uh, remarkable for, for feedback from our two um, our two supervisors and uh, another is the transportation uh, of which they came and uh, handed over to us that is really really, really helpful uh, in terms of um, service delivery at times our public don't have money and don't have fuel and sometimes when it's during low tide the means of transportation is really difficult, so they, they call us. They call us if the hospital's uh, boat can come over and um, can we visit them at home. For that, uh, it really elevated, it really escalated our service in terms of our service in service of uh, time of service delivery here at. Um, um, Bank Island. Eh? Thank you very much. First of all, I thank and acknowledge the visit of the Ministry of uh, Health today from the Health Minister and the Permanent Secretary for Health coming over to Ravi Ravi Nursing Station for a visit and also the handing over of the medical, Ravi Ravi Medical Board. Uh, I'm very fortunate and uh, to have an access with the uh, service, providing services to my community. Uh, at Ravi Ravi, I've been serving for, this is my third year, serving at Ravi Ravi Nursing Station. And I've got five villages and, um, to look after. And also with uh, one secondary school, one primary school, and, one, and two hotels. So with a total population of uh, 1012. Uh, yeah, I'm very fortunate and I'm very thankful that uh, they able to donate one boat for the station and uh, for the Rav Rav zone to ease the the medical services uh, delivery to the the five villages within my zone. Uh, I just thank the uh, Ministry of Health and the, all the, the staff that are here today coming to visit our station. Uh, thankful for them that they come down to grassroots level to see all the staff and all the challenges that we're facing here in the rural setting. Thank you.